Hello and welcome to Smart Home Charge. I'm at the Ionity charging station by Newport Pagnell. Uh, I've driven over here just to have a look at this charging hub and see for myself what it's actually like. Let's check it out. You can see I'm next to the Ionity charger and if you can hear that sound, that quite high pitched sound, that's because it's working. The charger is working. We're charging at just under 50 kilowatts, um, but these I believe can go up to 350. I'll need to check that, it might just be 150, but if you're not aware, Ionity is a pan-European charging network owned by or run by BMW, Audi, Mercedes, a few of the, of the big manufacturers and they're installing these all across Europe. So right now we're actually able to use these chargers across Europe and they're gradually installing them in the UK. I seem to have got into a bit of a habit where I'm not preparing at all for using any of these chargers. I didn't download the app. I, I thought I'd just be able to use contactless, but it wanted me to use the app. Um, but fortunately, it was really easy to download. I had Signal, could download it, easy to set up. And the important thing is I didn't need to register an account. That's really crucial for me. I should be able to just pay as I go, pay as a guest. So all I did was uh, scan the QR code on the charger here. Uh, it recognized it. Um, I'd already plugged the car in and then all I did was put, punch in my credit card details and off you go. Uh, simple, really easy to do, so I, I highly recommend these chargers. Hey, still charging, which is good. I've been here for uh, probably five minutes now, just did a bit of filming outside uh, and we're still charging, which is great. I've been really impressed with this service actually. Like I said before, I hadn't prepared for this whatsoever. I, I just assumed I could use my contactless. I, I, these are new chargers, the Ionity chargers. So, you know, hey, maybe I'm stupid, but I dare say a lot of people will make the same mistake. You won't always know which charger you're pulling up to. So, and frankly, I don't want loads of apps on my phone, but it was really easy to download the app when I got here and I think the most painful part of that any app process is having to register and register your payment details. The way it works with the Ionity app is you use the QR code scanner on your phone, it'll just open in the app by the way, um, scan the QR code uh, and then it will activate and then simply you just, you just need to punch in your card details. What was important for me is you can sign in as a guest or I didn't even really need to sign in. So that made it a lot quicker. All I did was use the, I uh, scanned in my card details using the app actually, so it, it was even faster, and then simply press start and it initiated and, and now it's charging. It's saying it'll take 32 minutes to get to 80%, which is more than enough for my journey back, more than I need, so I probably won't sit here for that duration. Um, I think I've got enough time for a nice coffee though. Rapid charge update, I don't have a coffee because it just didn't look that appealing in there, to be honest. But I do have even faster charging. Uh, oh, it was on the screen, I've lost it. I went up to 75 kilowatts. That's great, that, that's super quick. I, I just heard the, <laughs> the Ionity charger start making uh, an even louder whirring noise. Um, I thought I'd better check what it was actually doing, that my car wasn't about to blow up. Um, uh, but it, it was charging even faster, which is great. We're back down to 55 kilowatts now. There's no one else charging, so it can't be determined by power sharing or whatever other vehicles are here. And there's no one using the Polar Charge Masters either. So I have no idea why it decided to charge faster and gone back down again. If, if you know, um, leave a comment down below and explain to us why the Ionity charger goes up and down 
I'm sure there's a very logical reason for it. I just don't know it right here, right now. I just wanted to sum up my experience of using the Ionity charger. Overall, it was extremely good, and this is exactly what I'd expect from a public charger. It was easy to use, easy to pay, and simple to understand. There are some things I need to mention though. While the Ionity network itself is capable of 350 kilowatts charging, there aren't many EVs that can do that right now, but at least the network is thinking ahead, because there certainly will be more cars that can charge at that speed. In terms of cost, there's a flat £8 fee for accessing the charger, so really it's best if you use them when you actually need them or need quite a bit of range, otherwise it could be quite an expensive way of just topping up your car. Paying by phone, you don't actually need to use the app at all, I did on this occasion, but you can actually just find the charger and pay online through the Ionity website. The downside is each time you do that you would have to punch in some details so I'd recommend downloading the app if you're planning on using this charger quite a lot or using the Ionity network across Europe. That just saves you a bit of time and a bit of hassle, you don't have to put in your details each time. Overall, this was a really smooth experience and I highly recommend the Ionity network and I look forward to using more of their chargers in the future. Thanks for watching and if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button down below.